Okay, here we go for another dispute with eBay and the Indiana Jones Steelbook. Now, why am I buying it on eBay? Well, originally when I went to go pre-order it, it looked like it was sold out with, um, with Best Buy. So I decided upon myself to look at this and I said, mm, you know, I don't want to take any chances, so I'll do a... I'll do a pre-order on eBay. People you put up all kind of pre-orders. They pre-order it themselves, and then they um, ship it off to you. Biggest mistake ever. You catch a lot of people sometimes. I should have known. This is kind of my fault at the same time, but half and half. I should have known from the lower price at about like one thirteen to start off that this is probably someone that's just starting on eBay, and it was. They haven't sold a damn thing. I had this problem a couple of times. Once with the Harry Potter lo lo motion lamp, I got it, no problem. And then the other two time, another time I had a problem. This is the second one. So here's how it goes. Basically, this is just like the gargoyles problem I had. If you watched that video, no response from the seller after a couple of days now. So I filed a dispute with PayPal. Now at least it's on the record. So if something does go wrong, um. PayPal can give me my money back. If I just wait for this person, the longer you wait, the worse it is. You don't want to contact PayPal. Um, I think June 8th or June, whenever the date is for Indiana Jones when it comes out, June 8th would be the date um, um, that the release date would be. So if I contacted that person by that date, not contacted that person, I'm talking on my ass now. If I had contacted PayPal by that date, I mean, uh, I think it allowed me to do it up until the 6th. So you, if you have a problem, the sooner the better. Just leave it at that if that didn't make any sense to you. The sooner the better, which means file your claim right away. It's not a false claim. I don't trust this person. I literally don't trust them. I have no idea if they're going to send my item when it comes out. Because if they can't answer my questions right now or even reply to anything, what makes you think they'll send the item when it shows up? These are what a lot of people think, well, you're going to, that idiot, that, how do I put it, that idiot is going to um, just sit there and wait a month and I'm going to go spend the money on them. That's probably what they did. I gave them the money and who knows what they did with it. I don't know how they would get the money back. See, that's another question altogether. PayPal will give you the money back, no doubt, if you win the battle with, with the, um, with the, um, the dispute you follow, but, or should I say, the dispute that yeah whatever they'll give you your money back the only problem is I don't know how they get the money from them now I'm not a person to leave bad feedback I actually I've never left feedback on this current eBay account I have I've never left feedback for anything I probably should since some people are wonderful and they answer your questions and stuff but um I've never really left any feedback and I, I'm not gonna leave any feedback this time maybe just maybe if the person just says, I'm sorry and had to end this way, then maybe I'll be nice to them and I'll, I'll just won't leave any feedback at all. But if they don't, there's going to be some bad feedback going towards this person. These people on eBay need to contact you within a day of your question. Hands down. eBay should strongly recommend that too. They can't force them, but they can recommend it. Because if someone has a question... You should be able to answer it. Also, if you're doing eBay, you have to do eBay where you can do it on a phone and at your house. The reason why I say that is, is because if you're going away on vacation for a few days or something, you should be able to at least respond to the person and say, when I get home, I'll send it out. That's what happened with my Mighty Ducks jersey when I encountered someone on eBay. What happened? What happened was is that it took a really long time to ship, over a week. But the guy did get in touch with me, the guy or girl, whoever it was, got in touch with me and told me there was going to be a delay. And I was, I was okay with that. At least they talked to me They um, if I had any questions, and they, they answered me. Th these people, um, a lot of them, they list an item, they forget all about listing it, and then that's it. Never again. But you know what? I, you know what? I don't understand. This is the same thing with that gargoyles. It was the Gar Angela Gargoyles, um, I think it was the regular bobblehead, not the stonehead one. What I don't understand is these people get the money. You know, when you pay them, the money goes to them. So how can they not know there's an item on eBay they have to send out? They, they do. It's like they just ignore it and don't send you. 
it's really rotten what these people do. It really, it really is. Um, all because they're a first time eBay, -er, um, it shouldn't make them the, the um, make them the enemy. But in my case, it is. Every time you buy from someone that hasn't sold anything before, um, I wanted to save in a good thirty, thirty five bucks, and I thought I could. But biggest mistake ever. Who knows? I may end up with the one I just bought, which was I pre-ordered a few weeks ago. Um, but maybe I won't. I have, I think they have three days to respond to me, um, to my question, and then after that, I think it's all up to PayPal themselves. And this isn't no big small piece of change. Like this is a lot more than it's more than double with the the gargoyles things were, were so that's why I'm a little concerned about it. I don't like waiting though, that's the only thing I hate. How long does it take PayPal to investigate something? They try to contact someone for two or three days and it, just, it should be over after that. The whole dispute process should be wiped out, you should get your money back and everything's all fine. But they have to investigate all of what's happening and to see if you're lying about it or not. I'm not lying. Now I know what they might respond to me at first and say that it's a pre-order and that you have to wait a certain amount of time. I don't want to wait. Do, do, do people not understand that when you wait for a pre-order off of eBay, you have to you have to wait, obviously wait till the item comes out. But in that time frame, if you don't feel comfortable that your seller is going to sell it, um, not sell it, send it out at that time then you should be able to get in contact with them to make sure. If they don't respond, then there's an obvious problem. This person has something else listed on eBay too, but um, and a few people are watching it. I don't know what's going to happen though. I don't like when people, I hate dealing with people, if they respond to me, I hate dealing with people that respond um, like four or five days after you talk to them. If you're going to run an eBay account, you should be checking it on a daily basis for questions and guess what it emails you too when someone um, sends you a question I know it does because when someone responds to me on eBay from a message I send them through eBay it sends me an email so it lets me know so I know so if they, I can only assume they get an email on their end too these people check their email almost every day if they don't check their eBay that's why I know someone else that did this before too they bitched about, oh, we can't get the, um, we never got any notification for the account. It didn't send me anything. It was all baloney. You, you have to check your eBay manually every single day if you're selling an item. You cannot leave it behind. Because if you do and someone buys something and you don't ship it for a couple of weeks, you're in big trouble. I think eBay should refund me because of this. Because eBay, there's no way they can guarantee me that I'll get my item in a re reasonable amount of time. This person could choose to be an asshole and say, "Oh, we didn't get the pre-order in the email for uh, in the in the mail for a week, and then send it to me. Then I have to wait another week on top of on top of it all." That this is why I you know it happens everywhere. It happens at Best Buy. It happens at um, eBay. It happens everywhere. There's just too many people that don't know how to run accounts or companies. In this case, it's an eBay account. They should be ashamed of themselves. My overall suggestion is if you get an eBay account, just check it every day, no matter what. Just check it every day. Check the messages. Check to see if anything was sold. Because even if it's true, with that person I talked to, which I highly doubt was true, even if it's true you don't get a message or anything to tell you it was sold or anything, or someone threw a bid out there for an item, um, you, if you check, double check it actually inside the app or inside the website, you'll know for sure. Um, but some people just don't care. And you know, when you wait four or five days to respond to someone, it's ridiculous. That's why you have a mobile phone and a computer. If you can't run an eBay properly, don't one run. Don't run one at all. That's what a lot of people do. They they get these pre-orders, and the only time they go on eBay to sell anything is for these pre-orders. They make their account for the first time. And they think they're gonna screw someone over. All right. Bye-bye.